Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys exactly how you will never ever be scammed again on Solana and meme coins and this includes just straight up rug pulls, how you can identify them but also how you can never be scammed again on the slow rug pulls where basically the developers just end up selling off their tokens which just cause the price to completely die out. So yeah, there are the two type of scams. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can actually find them and catch them before you actually buy into a project because you of course don't want to lose your money and they're actually quite easy to uh, basically identify. It just takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to show you guys a few websites and bots and ways in order to basically identify a potential scam. Before I do that, I quickly wanted to say that if you want to buy or sell Solana meme coins, I would recommend doing that through a Telegram Trading or Sniper Vault. It's called Trojan, the one I'm using right here. Basically allows you to buy extremely quickly. It's what I'm currently using in order to make a shitload of money, such as this trade. So go check it out. It's the first link in the description below. And actually, also Trojan will also actually tell you if a project is a scam or not, if you're trying to buy it, to give you some details about the project, such as if it's already worked, if it's renowned, and all those kind of things so i will definitely recommend using trojan in order to trade it's much faster than jupiter and radium so go check it out link in uh, the description below first link and all the other bots i'm talking about in this video in order to identify works are also definitely linked below so go check them out but yeah basically let's say that you're just trying to hunt some new 100x gems on the new pair step we all know that the new pair step is extremely risky it's where you can find 100x gems because all of the coins right here are extremely early. However, you will also find a lot of rugs and scams right here because basically all the rugs and scams are most likely not trending on Dex Screener, but they will be in this list. So yeah, basically buying coins from of the new pairs list is extremely sketchy, but it's high risk, high reward. So let's say that we finally found a coin that has a good meme and that we actually want to buy. If you know no idea which one, let's say we're going to buy Mickey. This is just a random ass coin right here. So let's say you found this coin and you're trying to see if you should buy it. You find the meme funny, you find a logo and everything looks good, but you're not sure if it's going to work or if it's going to perform good simply because you're scared of it being a work pool or just a straight up scam where the developer has a lot of tokens. Well, the first thing I would always recommend doing, and this is the easiest thing you can do, is just simply making sure that the liquidity is locked. If you look right now for this coin cup Mickey, the liquidity is just straight up not locked. Reason for it is because it has not a lock icon next to the liquidity. Let me show you an example of a coin that does have this. For example, this coin does have a liquidity lock, simply because it has this lock with this green little circle within it. So this just means that the liquidity is locked and also burned. And that's of course the most important thing. If the liquidity is not locked, such as Mickey, then it could mean that basically the developer will end up working the token. And this will just simply completely remove the token out of existence and all of your money will be gone. So it's really important to only buy a coin once it has that lock icon. Now the second thing I would always recommend doing before buying a coin is making sure that it has a logo and an, uh, basically a banner over on deck screener. This means that you are able to see their socials on deck screener and that's just extremely important. If they don't have their logo and uh, socials basically updated, it just means that the developer is not even willing to buy, uh, basically put in like $200 of his own money in order to update that. So it's really important that it always has a deck screener socials updated so you can always just see what the project is about. That's really important as well. Now, let's say that you have double checked the liquidity, it has socials updated, but you're still not sure if you should buy this coin. The third thing we can actually do is copy the contract address right here and then go to this website called rugcheck.xyz. All we do is enter the token address just like this and we'll show us exactly if the project uh, is basically dangerous or not. So right now we can see it has a few uh, different levels of danger. First of all, we can see a large amount of liquidity is unlocked and this is already what I told you. Uh, basically the liquidity is not locked, meaning it's extremely sketchy. Furthermore, it will also give some other notifications such as low amount of liquidity pool providers, that is completely fine, and mutable metadata, which is also completely fine. But we can also find some other uh, basically things right here, such as the creator, uh, where the token got minted from and also the top holders. And now let's go to the third section. Of course, the top holders is really, really important. What I would recommend doing is simply going to the website and just looking at the top holders and just seeing if the top holders are holding a lot of basically supply. 
If they are, what you can simply do is go to the contract address and click right here. So it will bring you to Soul Scan, to the token, Mickey, or any coin you of course want to look at. Then click on holders, and it's really important to make sure that nobody is holding a big amount of the supply. We can see right now that nobody is holding more than 5%, which is completely fine. When the token is really small, a lot of people will be holding bigger amounts simply because you can literally buy like 1% of the supply for like one Solana, so that's completely fine. However, what you also want to make sure to double check is that nobody is holding the same amount of tokens. Because sometimes you will notice that, for example, everyone is holding 1 million tokens. And when that is the case, it most likely means that the developer or someone from the team has airdropped a lot of tokens to different wallets. And that's a really easy way to also identify if the developer is most likely going to sell his own token. Now we can already see that this is a scam. It seems like this has not completely worked yet. However, it does seem like the developer is already selling. Now if you want to make sure that the developer is selling or not, we can use a bot on Telegram. So I already told you guys to look at the top holders, however if you really can't see any wallets just holding the same amount of supply, it may be that the developer is a little bit smarter and that he is sending random amounts to different wallets. Now to double check that, go to Telegram and then go to this bot called Dev Selling Bot. It's of course linked in the description below. All you do is type slash start like this, it will ask you for a contract address and enter the contract address of the coin. It will then basically give you a quick audit of the entire coin, just like this. So we can see right now that this, uh, basically this token, um, uh, what we can see basically here is a lot of different things. So let me show you guys what you can actually see. First of all, you can see the mintable. It's really important. If this is set to yes, it basically means that the, that the developer can mint more tokens, meaning he will be able to sell tokens that are not even in the supply, which is a red flag. Also make sure that Freeze Authority is uh, disabled or set to none. If it's enabled, that's also a red flag and you don't want to buy the coin. Now liquidity pool status is on, always need to make sure to be at 100%. If it's under 100%, don't even buy the coin. It's most likely a work, just like this one. And it seems like this one ended up working simply because it has no locked liquidity. This one is really, really obvious to identify. To also give some more information right here, such as the socials, but the most important thing you want to make sure to look at is uh, this section right here. It will basically show you if the developer has sent tokens to his own wallet. We can see right here the developer is right now only, only has one wallet holding 0%. And if we look at that one wallet, it se seems like he has not sold any of his tokens. So this just means that the developer at least did not sell his tokens. Now for this coin, of course, it was just a straight up rug pull because he basically took a little bit of the supply or the liquidity, meaning it was a scam. But maybe if we look at a different token, such as this one, which is a little bit more established, we can see if the developer is actually rugging the token by selling his own uh, supply, basically. We simply wait for the order to be processed again, and we will be able to see if maybe that coin, we're now looking at a different coin, is uh, basically selling his own token. Now we can see already this is looking a little bit different. We can see the developer is right now holding 15% of the entire supply in 11 wallets. And these are 31 layer 1 transfers and 1 layer 2 transfers. Meaning this is extremely sketchy. Meaning the developer is most likely selling his own token. At least he is holding 15% of the entire supply in 11 wallets. Which is extremely sketchy. Now it does not seem like he has sold uh, anything yet. Because otherwise this will have popped up. So it does seem like he has sell sold anything yet. But once that happens. You simply don't want to look at this coin. Simply because he will most likely start selling. He literally aired up to himself 15% of the supply. Which is extremely sketchy. Meaning this is also a rug. So I hope, uh, basically I hope that I'm explaining this right. But yeah, using this is the selling bot. You're basically capable of identifying if the developer has airdropped tokens to his own wallet. And he, if he is then also selling those tokens or not. So that is really easy. For example, a coin I was basically reviewing a few days ago. Did have over 122 Solana worth of sales. Meaning the developer was basically selling over 122 Solana worth of his token, meaning it's a straight up scam and you don't want to look at it. Now once you basically double check it on Rug Checker, um, you have looked at the top holders, Soul Scan, you looked at 
is the death selling and you're basically everything looks good. I mean rug checking is, uh, is saying that it's looking good, soul scan is not uh, showing any crazy ho big holders, that is selling bot is not saying that the developer is holding any tokens, the liquidity is locked, everything is looking good. What you can then simply do is proceed to buy it. Now like I said you can do this on Trojan and basically this is the last step. Trojan will most of the time show you if the developer is rugging the token. So when I click on buy and I click on enter, most of the time Trojan will basically show you if it's renounced. It will so say if it's renounced and also some other details about the coin. So it will just give you a last check. And basically once you've done that you can buy a token. Now, once you basically double check all of that, there's of course still no guarantee that the coin is going to do, do good. I mean, a token can also just die out simply because there's no marketing, um, basically there's just no hype for the coin. So of course, not always every single coin will simply die out because of the developer. It can also be because of the community. So keep that in mind. But once you basically done all of these things, looking at soul scan, looking at rug checker, if death selling bolt, trojan bolt, simply looking at the socials, and if once you've basically double checked all of that, you can potentially buy it and the chances of you at least getting hard worked or scammed are just much smaller. And that are basically all of the, all of the, that's basically all of the information I have in this video for you. All of course, a lot of people had uh, questions about basically how we can identify your work. So I hope this video basically helped that. Um, and yeah, of course, all of these bots and all of these websites are linked in the description below if you want to check them out. And that being said, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, let them know in the description below. And I hope I will see you guys in my next crypto meme coin review or tutorial.